following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at an innovative new feature from Mercury Marine, JPI, or Joystick Piloting for Inboards. It takes boats powered by twin Mercruiser engines and gives them joystick functionality without the need or expense of pod drives. Let's take a look. Our test bed will be the Cruiser's Yacht's 39 Express Coupe with twin 8.2 Merc Cruiser gas engines, but any inboard dual engine Merc Cruiser boat will work, gas or diesel. The joystick basically integrates the twin engines with the bow thruster or even balanced third thrusters combined to give us our full maneuverability. The fact that it can work with only a single thruster shows how well and cost effective this solution can be. Now, a couple of operational notes. The bow thruster is not progressive, it's either on or off, but we can make adjustments to the operation to accommodate this as we'll see in a moment. Second, electric thrusters shut down into a safe mode after heavy use until they cool. That said, we pounded on it for nearly 45 minutes and had no such problem, so that's not a concern. So let's put it to the test. We shift the throttle controls into neutral and the stick becomes active, as seen by the green light ring around the joystick. Now, as we move the joystick, the mains and bow thruster only in this case activate to move us sideways as desired and the lighted ring validates which way the thrust is moving us. If the thruster, which has no variable settings remember, pushes the bow too much over the stern, then we can rotate in the opposite direction to take the thruster out of the equation. Electric thrusters are so loud that we can easily judge how much or how little rotation it takes to start and stop it, and in this manner, we can keep our side slip parallel to the dock quite easily. Now, while the thruster isn't progressive, the main engines are, so more stick adds more power to the mains and we move faster. We just leave the thruster on longer or even continually, all without even thinking about it. Now, Mercury takes this progressive issue a step further and adds a button to limit how much power we can put into the system. This keeps heavy-handed captains in check but still allows more power when needed to fight a hard crosswind or current. It really is a perfect setup and it offers captains a level of precision that was simply not achievable to the average operator. So the joystick is clearly more efficient and it's certainly much faster to come into the dock than doing it old school, but I also want to see if there's going to be an effect with the rudder all the way hard over one direction or the other and see if that has any adverse effects. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by coming into the dock on the port hand side and I'm going to have the wheel turned all the way to port so the rudders are to the port hand side, all the thrust should bring the stern away from the dock. Let's see. So with the helm hard over, it worked, but it took a little bit longer. My recommendation, center the helm and it'll come in easy. If you forget to do that, just put a little more force into the joystick and it'll still work just fine. Now, there's another cool feature of this system, thruster only. As we're driving, press the center button to engage this feature and still use the joystick to control the thruster only, just as if there was no joystick system at all. When driving in close confines, we can still activate the thruster with a push of the stick to kick the bow around a tight turn while underway. Remember, this is a feature that we have to activate. It's not automatic, like the joystick itself activating when we shift into neutral. Press the button, and we have thruster only. Well, in my opinion, this is a great addition to any inboard helm, and one I was quite impressed with. It allowed exacting precision in a cost-effective alternative to pod drives. And that's my look at the JPI, Joystick piloting system for inboards from Mercury Marine. For Botest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.